Right. Drier air is moving in for today. We've got beautiful weather to kick off your holiday weekend. There is that front that came through yesterday. It is now bringing showers into the inner mountain west. Parts of Nevada, Idaho, Utah, Montana, Wyoming, all catching some showers from that frontal system we had yesterday afternoon. Cloud cover is still lingering behind the front and it will be here with us throughout the morning, but we will still have plenty of sunshine, partly to mostly sunny skies are on the way for all areas. We're in the mid 40s at the coast in Brookings. It is running much cooler than it was yesterday at this time 46 in Medford with some clouds out there 27 though in Klamath Falls chilly to start your day out on the east side in Klamath Falls you are reporting some fog at this time all areas will start off with areas of fog because of that moisture that came through yesterday 41 and partly cloudy in Mount Shasta right now here's a look at current visibilities Montague reading zero and one mile in Klamath Falls up and down the coastline visibilities are reduced a bit as well in for west side valleys there will be areas of fog to start your Friday off as well. But overall, a beautiful start to the weekend. Plenty of sun for today and temperatures are climbing into the 70s for West Side Valleys. Coastal showers are moving in for your Saturday. This front is going to bring some showers earlier than originally expected the past few days. Around 9 o'clock in the morning, showers will move into the coastline. But as the front travels inland, it totally falls apart. So inland areas are going to stay dry. You still can't rule out a stray shower making it inland to the west side, but overall a dry day. It will have some good winds with it, so expect the winds to pick up Saturday into midday for the Klamath Basin and also for the Shasta Valley, the coast and the Cascades as well. High seas are expected. We already have a high surf advisory in effect for the coastline for Saturday evening and Sunday morning. Avoid the ocean waters at the coastline if you can during this time frame. Breakers are expected to be between 22 feet and 24 feet, and sneaker waves are also a concern through this time frame. If you can avoid the water, you really should. If you choose to go by the water, do not turn your back towards the waves. Fantastic weather does move in for Easter Sunday. This goes for all areas. It's going to be gorgeous for your Sunday. So we'll time all of this out on the Stormcast. We fast forward throughout this afternoon looking good. Partly to mostly sunny skies up and down the I-5 corridor. We move into Saturday morning. This is about 930. Again, this front yesterday was coming in around noon. At this point, it looks like early in the morning it's coming in, but we fast forward throughout the afternoon and notice it totally falls apart as it travels further eastward. So not really expecting those showers to travel further inland. And again, Sunday is just looking fantastic. Yes, I know we do need the rain, but at least for Sunday, we'll bargain with some good weather. Partly sunny skies expected at the coast. 65 are high in Brookings, 72 in Medford, mostly sunny skies for inland areas will also be in the mid 60s in Klamath Falls for your Sunday. For today at the coast, mostly sunny skies, 65 is our high temperature in Brookings, starting off with areas of fog this morning. Same story for Siskiyou County, partly to mostly sunny skies and high temperatures running warmer than yesterday. We're climbing into the 70s for your afternoon. In the Klamath Basin, mostly sunny skies, a few more clouds this morning, 64 is our high in Klamath Falls. Across the higher elevations, a very spring-like day ahead for you. Mild temperatures as well. And for the Rogue Valley, we are climbing to 72 in Medford, 71 in Grants Pass, and the upper 60s in Ashland. A great way to start out your holiday weekend. Here's that seven-day forecast. Again, partly sunny for your Easter Sunday at the coast. 60 is our high in Brookings. And then some showers are arriving late Monday night. And then they continue into Tuesday. Isolated showers for Wednesday. Still not looking very very impressive though. We really need a lot more rain going into fire season. Unfortunately, we cannot seem to catch a break. Next week though does look to be cooler. It does look to be a little more active than at least high pressure bringing us plenty of sun into our weekend. Breezy for Saturday in the basin. Same story for the Shasta Valley and for the higher elevations. It will be breezy. You could see a stray shower into Saturday midday as well. Great for Sunday and then snow levels dropping to around 4,000 feet next week with that system. It is, does have a lot of cold air with it. 75 and mostly sunny for your Easter Sunday in the Rogue Valley. Beautiful weather to finish off the weekend and for the holiday. That looks great outside. And uh, yesterday it was kind of kind of nice and refreshing to smell the, the rain and all that sort of thing, but it sure cooled off. Right. Yeah. It, it brought in showers that we so badly need, and it was a little more potent than we thought as well. So that was great. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot.